All right, guys, it's my first time speaking on, I guess, a video. Uh, I'm playing Elden Ring. No, I was really excited for this game. And uh, this is my character. I love going with the white hair. So let's just get into it, you know? Welcome to Elden Ring. I've seen that this game got like 97 out of 100, so damn near perfect. It's ridiculous. I'm excited for it. The fallen leaves tell a story. The great Elden Ring was shattered. is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Gideon of Mir, the all-knowing! And one other, whom Grace would again bless. Tarnished of no renown. Cross the fog to the lands between to stand before the Elden Ring and become. The Elden Lord. So, yeah, I don't think I... I brought a keepsake. Because I was, like, indecisive of what to bring, and then I ended up not bringing anything, really. Finger. Uh, or maybe I did. 
Oh, no, no, no. I don't think this is one. But yeah, so I think I ended up being indecisive, and then I started making the character, and then forgot to put a keepsake anyway. I hope the audio is fine. One thing I will say is that the cinematic for this, like the starting cinematic, I like it better than Dark Souls 3. It was, it was Dark Souls 3 is like, that's a good one, don't get me wrong, but this one is like more dramatic. It already gets you into the mood. And it's definitely not as stiff as the Dark Souls, um, the Dark Souls characters, not as stiff. So I'd like to see what kind of glitches and stuff and places people get into in this game. I'm just checking around, make sure nothing's hidden. Wretch definitely plays the same as the, what is it, the Praised, I think, in Dark Souls 3. It definitely plays the same. Oh god. Oh. It's not good. Uh. Huh. I see. Okay. Are you supposed to die? Okay, like Demon Souls. It was Demon Souls, right? Demon Souls? Yeah, yeah. I scared me for a second because there's no Estus or anything, and I was just like, oh, damn, how am I supposed to pass this? But maybe on my new game plus, I'll be able to beat that. Not a maybe, I can definitely be able to beat that on No Game Plus. to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Here we go. Oh, 
Okay, and what's over here? <laughs> yes, a tree. So here's the question, should I take the plunge? What's this? Oh, basically the bonfire. Okay. Oh, that's one of the stoneware sword. That's one of the keepsakes that you can get. if this would be more like demon souls than dark souls because dark souls you get to use four i guess rings whereas in demon souls you only use two i think i'm gonna jump just just to see what happens i hope i needed that Most of the enemies. See, Mark, now another question I have. Is that most of the enemies? Is that like... They... Because hmm. in most Dark Souls games, or at least the ones I've played, which is just Dark Souls 3 and Demon Souls, they tell you the enemies, but this one is specific with most. Oh, whatever. I don't think it's I see, I see. Okay. Uh, it's... There we go. The reason I never really went into it, but the reason I went with Wretch instead of any of the other ones is because I never really usually know what I want to focus on. I usually go, I guess you can kind of say like a spell knight, which is just more of like a dexterity, strength, faith. Oh shit. Or like a... It's either faith or intelligence. I usually go one or the other. (laughs) 
game plays nicely. And my TV isn't like a super 4K TV. It's kind of just... I hope I'm not going through the messages, for, I mean the tutorials fast. So you guys have time to read. I wasn't close enough. Well, I think crouching is definitely going to make stealth a lot better as opposed to some of the other Dark Souls games. and this might be the first boss or second boss if you want to call him that All right. oh okay I'll try that it did not work <laughs> Pretty simple. Yeah, pretty simple, you know. Not really hard. Okay. Alright, so that's basically just a tutorial. One thing you'll see is, you see how it says press triangle? I'm gonna keep pressing X, because I'm used to... Uh, I'm used to Dark Souls, since I was playing it a lot recently in preparation for this. So I'm gonna end up using a lot of Dark Souls... Commands, I guess you could say. to look at. It is beautiful. Okay. between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. <laughs> Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless, me, Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace, the golden light 
that gives life to you tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, the path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Grace's guidance will castle Stormvale. Over on the cliff, the home of the decrepit demigod, Godric the Drafted. It's time you set off to Castle Storm. If you seek the Elden Ring. Okay, is that it? It's time you to Castle Storm. Yep, that's the last one. Seek... Okay. find fruit and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies and various other materials. Alright, so that's... In a sense that sucks for me, because in games like this, especially like looting wise, now when I know I can loot things like this, you can see I'm already like branching off just to see if I could find other things. This game is definitely very gorgeous. And that right there is the Tree Sentinel. I've seen videos on him because I never played the, never got to play the Elden Ring, I guess beta, when it dropped. So I just seen videos of people trying to beat this guy. Well, I don't think I'm just avoid him for now because I doubt I could beat him uh, without even a shield. I doubt it. I mean, I'll, I'll try anyway, but I doubt it. know what? Oh, damn. Well. <laughs> what I was going to say was my damage isn't too bad. So I was thinking maybe I should just try. Yeah, you know, simple Dark Souls. That's cool how it gives you like a waypoint to, I guess, your runes, as they would, they would call it. So yeah, no, he hits way too hard for me to try that again. Okay, okay. Got this thing going. I wanna see if I can cheat it. Ah. 
All right, never mind. All right, I'm not going to try. Oh God. Are you kidding me? You know what? That's exactly what I get for taunting him. I should have just left. And we'll go around this way this time. Well, speaking of dungeons, that first place that I passed with the tree, not the tree, sorry, with the stone key that you can get as a, let me remember, that you can get as the gift, the starting gift, that is a dungeon, that's what they call dungeons, so, well apparently it's like extremely hard, especially at starting, well I can see that, I don't really have to say apparently. Slightly reminds me of Grey Rat. Well, if you can spare the rooms, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, really, if you intend to survive out here for any duration. The kit costs a bundle, and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every customer counts, after all. Well, my good sir, I don't mind if I do. Nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. I think I'll grab this torch to be like my second weapon. You've made an excellent choice. With the item crafting menu, you can make various items for materials that you find. And you need cookbooks to get more, I guess. What does this do? I'll have to feed the horse. Okay, I love it. All right. I wondered what those were for. try hunting. Hmm. 
Uh, what I guess I can do is this, just in case. Oh, I see, I see. What is that over there? I hope that is not another boss, because I do not have it in me. Um... Looks like it reminds me of Man Bat from uh, Batman. That's what it reminds me of. Oh, okay, cool. They definitely hit quick. Oh yeah, it's simple, you know, when you kill some enemies, sometimes they'll give you Machinestus. I don't know if they're saying, like, if you just, if you kill a group that you're guaranteed one. I don't know if that's what they were trying to get at. But, yeah, you know, simple Dark Souls. Oh wow, I dropped nothing. I killed it for no reason. I feel bad. I'm actually kind of lost now. I should have followed the light. <laughs> What's this though? Oh, wait. They are both Crimson and Cerulean Teardrops can defeat them to replenish- Aw, oh, dang. That was a waste. What's this? Ah. Why are these knights so violent? Honestly, though, that counter-attack mechanic, I am going to love that. Because me, I was never... I was never much good at, like, parrying in Dark Souls. Never much good at it. But a counter mechanic, that's something I would love. That is something I'm going to love. What's this? Nice. That is nice. Mm. Oh, that was an accident. I think I'm gonna kill one more just for the runes and experience. The runes, yeah. <laughs> oh, and I got a sword. Is it better than. It is. Okay. Alright, I think I'll end this recording here and start the next one. See you guys in the next video.